Welcome back to more Rune Factory 3 special, everybody. So in the last episode, we uh, kind of went around here and explored the town, but I did mess up the whole requesting by accidentally canceling it and then knowing the rule that you can't accept more than one per day. I pretty much messed it up, so let's actually try this again. We're going to go in there, and then we're... Oh, here you are. What a lovely day we're having. I'm sure the flowers are happy to soak up all this wonderful sunshine. Let me drink some water. I should have done it before I started recording because I am thirsty right now. Good morning. Introduce yourself to the locals, okay. Sorry, I wasn't reading that because I was drinking water. You did just move in after all. It's only proper that you let everyone know who you are. Oh, don't forget to uh, visit Daria too. She's an artist who lives down past the general store towards Prevera Forest. Daria, artist, forest, got it. Went to that hello to everyone. Come back and let me know. I will do. Okay, wait a minute though. Does this mean... Good morning. Good morning. Uh-huh. Color of swords. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Does this mean that, like, literally everybody that I, like, like I have to talk to them again, or I just have to meet them? Because if I just have to meet them, then I feel like I've already talked to most people. I'm gonna bite you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, does the quest actually, like, tell me? Can I even see my current quest? Or my... Well, request, I should say, you know? It says party member, is this for people? It actually doesn't appear on there. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, I mean, okay. Let, let's get out of here. Let's go like this. Um... I believe there is... Well, you know what's weird about this? Wait, 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 hold on. So this staircase says... Oh, I see, I see, okay. Yeah, so it shows on the map all, basically everything at once, okay. Hey, do you like fishing? Fishing? Yep, fishing. If I had to say, I guess I like it well enough. Really, then you've got taste, mister. There's just nothing else like it, is there? The dance with the bobber on the waves, the arc of the pit pole, as you and the fish do battle. Then the sparkle of water splashes as the fish breaches the surface. I'm sorry. I can get kind of carried away by fishing. Take it you're a fan, huh? You could say that. Boy, is my face red. Anyway, I'm Carmen. You? Micah. Micah, huh? Pleased to meet you. I love the fishing resort by the lake. If you're ever looking for a fishing partner, let me know. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm putting this a little big just so I can kind of see where people are at. Somebody's walking from this side. They're coming through. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Yeah, I'm at the bottom. Okay, got it. So... This is the blacksmith. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of weapons. Welcome. Were, were all these made here? Mostly. Amazing. Do you make them too? Uh. You are here to buy something, right? Huh? This is a weapon shop, not a place for idle chit chat. If you're not here to buy, then leave. Sorry. Wow. Right. Finally finished. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember you. You here to buy something? Um, hey, don't sweat it if you aren't. As long as I've got some iron to hammer it, I don't have a care in the world. Stay a while and take a load off if you like. Oh, my little idle chit-chat. But... What? What? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Okay, so I've already talked to... Yeah, I don't really need to. I'll talk to them again just in case if I have to. I'm here to shop. Swords and shields. What do you got? What do I even have equipped? Do I have the broadsword? I, I actually should take a look at that because honestly, I do not know. Let's just say never mind. Get out of this menu. Oh my god. Okay. Um... What is this? It says broadsword. Okay. I kind of figured. Um, anything here that I could like. Those tools would be a sound. Hmm. Yeah. Udon. Okay, I don't think any of this is particularly important. I will check up here really quick though, just to see if there's something. Because, I mean, I got a free squid from that other thing over there, so maybe... 
Leave it alone. Sure, I'll leave it alone. Okay, and then there's two beds there. Alright, so that's it for this building. I talked to you already. Okay, so the three buildings up top. Let's see. That's Sakuya. Oh, it's raining. Okay. But yes, yeah, so I've been... No, that's to the crossroads. Okay, I'm just trying to make sense of the entire town, you know? So this over here... Somebody just went in here. My, and you are? My cousin name. I went through some stuff and then other stuff happened. And long story short, I got permission to live in the Great Tree. Oh dear, it sounds like it's been quite the whirlwind for you. That must have been taxing, I'm sorry. It wasn't all that bad, fortunately. After all, he did get a free house, right? I had to introduce myself on. I'm, I'm Evelyn. It's a pleasure. You may have come across this already, but my family members tend to say the opposite of what they truly mean. I imagine that's a lot to deal with. It is, actually. It is. The truly kind people, though, I hope you'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I intend to. So the friendlier you become, the more they may insult you. Great. <laughs> Okay, so I've already talked to Pia. Toy herbs. Seems like nobody else is in here. Wait, wait, hold on. One, two, you know, because that's, yeah. Who are you? Oh, it's Shino. I've already talked to Shino. Okay, so everybody here is done. Um, nobody's out anymore. They're all inside buildings. Another cutscene. This is absolutely disgusting. It's the worst thing I've ever tasted. Shut up, I'll have another. This is so good. I'm gonna need a second helping up here too, Dad. Here we are. You can order a steamed vegetable omelette rice in the high orc fashion Alvarna style escargot. You find that yourself again. I can tell this is going to be simply atrocious. Thank you for the kind words, Sherman. Bon appetit. And Colette, you will enjoy the food even more if you take your time and savor it. I know, I know, so hurry up and bring that plate over here, please. How the heck can someone so small eat so much? I heard that, Russ. Hmm, okay. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. And you, the person who moved into the Charn Street. That's me, I'm Micah. I thought as much. My name is Blaze. I work in the restaurant as a chef. Come by whenever you have a chance. Yeah, for sure. Then I look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, this is Colette. Light snacking. And I've already talked to Sherman. Wonderful. To make you left my meal alone. Or here at the scam. Hey there, and you are. Oh, no, Mike, I just moved to the big tree. It's a pleasure meeting you. Come on, you can't be that much older than me. No need to be so polite. I'm Rusk, by the way. Right, thanks, Rusk. Nice meeting you. That's more like it. Nice meeting you, too. You can usually find me at the restaurant, so feel free to drop by sometime. Sure thing. Sounds like fun. Okay, uh, I don't see anybody else. Any more icons? Um, let's go this way. Wait, somebody's walking this way. Oh, it's Monica again. Monica clearly hates me. Okay, um... Okay, this building. Sorry, I know I have the map huge right now, but I'm just, it's because I'm trying to see where people are. I will make it more small, though, later on. Disgusting. Disgusting. More! Alright, alright, just give me a moment. Oh wait, see, in that scenario, should I'm sure maybe saying less? Like, how come Sherman only says some things opposite, but not other things? Our three-star chef cooking is as terrible as ever. So you're saying more, please. Shouldn't he be saying less, please? Or less, not please? <laughs> I don't know. No, but seriously, like, how come only certain things are said opposite and not other things? Here you are. Place has undone himself again. I know it's delicious, but please be more mindful of your portions, Father. And shall we go to the dining room? It is impolite to feast in just any room of the manor. Perhaps you're right. So maybe you should have said you're wrong. But first, another helping. Very well, just a moment. Good 
A terrible morning to you, my despised daughter Sophia. I hate you too, Papa. Are you heading out somewhere? No. Only I'll stay home. That you don't be mindful of your surroundings and stay out of trouble. I won't. I don't mean it. I'll be off then. My goodness, another conversation and that silly opposite speak. Honestly, where do you two just to get it from? Okay, so I already talked to Sherman. And then I've already talked. Yeah. But Evelyn, got it. Okay, so nobody else is in here. Um, let's see. So I've already gone. Who, who is this up here? Sherman. I feel like I've already talked to almost everybody around here. Oh yeah, I already talked to Hazel. And there's Shino. Yeah, I'm trying to memorize their icons. That's why I keep talking to them so I can like maybe memorize them a little bit. So this is the blacksmith I've already on there. The general store is right here. Oops. Or flowers, I should say. Sorry. That one, that one I'm getting confused about. This one is the um, diamond general store. Okay, got it. We're closed. You are? Slacking off again, I see. <laughs> I thought they were talking there. Because me can blow up potential customers, honestly. Some would say my spring is my best feature. Sorry about her, that's just the way she is. <laughs> By the way, you just moved into the big tree, didn't you? Sure did. You saved me a trip then. I was planning on handing over to explain how shipping works. Well, just stand there. Come on in. You're up, Karina. Give me the rundown. Me? Okay, I guess. But uh, I don't know if I can explain it well enough. Wouldn't it be better if you did it, Mom? I'm trying to foist your work onto me so you can goof off some more? I'm just looking out for our customer's best interest. Yeah, that's it. Is that so? Well, if you're that concerned, you can be his account manager. Make sure he gets whatever he needs, whenever he needs it. With a smile, okay? Seriously? I've got some urgent business to take care of, so ask my daughter here for the details. Sure thing. And Karina, wipe that annoyed look off your face. And make sure you explain things to him, got that? Yeah. Fine. I'm off. Well, I can't just ditch work and leave the store empty, so I guess I should start explaining. That'd be great, thank you. Let's see. Just toss any items you harvest into the shipping bin and I'll come pick them up. The fewer the better, since that makes my job easier. Most of the time, I'll usually come by to collect at like 5pm or whenever I feel like it. Keep it up and you should be rolling in gold in no time. I'll come by to pick up whatever's in the box every day. Every day? Man. Wow, she really does no work ethic, huh? Make sense? Got it. Good. Starting today. Scratch that. Still got work here today, so my first pick will be tomorrow. Okay. I think I already talked to her though. What's for sale? Wow, you can buy all the selections, huh? Okay, um, that's fine. I don't need that. No. Okay, so that store is okay. So we did general store, flower store, the blacksmith, the bath is up there, the um, uh, what's this one again? Oh, the diner, right. The diner. We went to the diner. So the bathhouse, the diner, the general store, the flower store, the blacksmith. The manor is over on the right. What is this one again? The witch's cauldron. Did I go into witch's cauldron? No, I did not. At long last, a new patient. So what seems to be the problem? Headache? Backache? Somewhere unmentionable ache? So your mystery affliction has left you incapable of coherent speech as well. No, listen. Don't worry. I'm only here for a second. Well, sometimes it hurts for quite a few more seconds. Fair warning. I'm just gonna tell you I'm not sick. Oh look, it's it's you. I've definitely seen you around a lot. 
I'm sorry about her. She sometimes has difficulty listening to others. Don't try and stop me, Granny. You can be treated, yeah. I wouldn't exactly call your random application a mystery cure's treatment. Besides, the patient in question has been trying to tell you he isn't sick this whole time. Huh? Exactly. Can you listen for once? Is that true? No. <laughs> Good grief. Supposed to be a witch, but here you are trying to apply unproven healing practices from foreign lands. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess so, huh? You're just old-fashioned, Granny. There are some things that even the most powerful magic in the world can't fix. Even witches need to learn how to adapt to the times. Perhaps if you master the fundamentals first, we could discuss how to innovate on them. Don't you worry, Granny. One day everyone will acknowledge my greatness as a healer. Speaking of which... You. Come by my test someday. It'll be a... It'll be a cinch getting people to trust my methods. If I use you as proof, they work. Oh, well, I'll think about it. Good. If you ever catch a cold or get poisoned or something, come back here for treatment. Granny runs a place on the weekends to so try to limit all injuries and illnesses to weekdays for science. Alan said I would think about it. Great, I'll be waiting. And yeah, she's not listening. Okay, so I would talk to both of these people also. Yeah, I introduced myself. Pretty good, actually. Okay, so I already went to all those buildings. Let's go down to the next one. Okay, I remember this place. She was talking about this place. This is Carlos's resort. Dearest brother, the time has come for me to take my leave. My darling sister, must you depart so soon, I cannot bear to see you go. It pains me too, brother, but I can delay no longer. The hour is at hand, the fish will wait. Then promise me this, beloved sister. Promise me that you'll come back alive. Oh, my dear brother. What? Are you like acting or something? Oh, hey, a customer. Oh, heck yeah, welcome to Carl's Resort. Is this your first time here? Uh, yeah. There's a fishing spot where you can catch fish that we raised up special. For a fee, of course. You said it. I wanted to put a spin on the classic angling experience to get people hooked on fishing, yeah? Nice Isn't that cool? It's not free, but the best things in life never are, am I right? And there's nothing better than a relaxing day of fishing. Like I always say, if you want to earn some extra spending money, fishing's a great opportunity. And there it is. One of my brother's famous jokes. Smart and funny, he's got it all. During regular hours. Oh, he was speaking now. I'm sure they speak sometimes and they speak over them, but which is fine. Okay, just a regular dude. You know him. What? It's my destiny. An 800G will do the trick. The heck? Hey. New guy. Uh huh. Okay, Micah. I'm Carlos. Me and my big sister went to fishing. Okay, fishing resort. That's pretty cool. I think so. I mean, a good taste. Okay, so I think with this, I feel like I've talked to everybody now. Cherry salmon. I feel like I've met everybody now. Um, let me try going back up here. Wait, this is the wrong place. I meant to go this way. Okay, let me make it small now. Wait, wh where's she at? She's not in here. What does this say? Yeah, I already... okay. Oh, here you are. Finish making the rounds? Carmen, don't just go to everyone's houses and call it good. Make sure you go up to each person and introduce yourself. I did! Who's, who's missing, dude? What the heck? Hey there. Hello. <laughs> I mean... I talked to those two already. Who am I missing? Hello. One, two... Who are you? Yeah, I already talked to you. Wait. Oh wait, no I didn't actually. And Sophia, it's a pleasure. Actually, rather busy. Okay. I won't be waiting to see you. Do stay far away. Okay, that should be everybody now, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, where are you at? Upstairs? Oh, dear. 
What the heck is... Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, so these are done. People in the blacksmith were done. The people down there were done. God, who am I missing? I already talked to you. Boy, hold on. Let me, let me put chat. I mean, I know I already talked to you, though. Obviously, I already talked to Marjorie. Okay, so they're done. Oh, there's there's got to be one person left that I'm missing somewhere. There's only one person here, and I feel like I've already talked to you. Mm -mm. How about... Seeing if anybody else knew one into those buildings, you know. Yeah, I've talked to both of these people already. Okay, so that's done too. I mean, I know I've talked to all three of these people. That's Zips. Kuya, Pia. Oh, uh, how do I go up? Oh, from here, okay. Shino, I already talked to Shino. So that means this place is done too. Did I miss somebody here? I got I probably did. No, okay, that's Colette. Colette's done. This is Sherman. I already talked to Sherman. I already talked to Blaze. I knew that. And then Rusk. Yeah, I, I talked to all these people here too. Who the hell am I missing? I feel like there's no more villagers. Like, am I crazy? Am I like completely crazy or something? Who, who are you? Wait, wait, wait. No, that's... Yeah, I already... Oh, is this where, is this where she told me to go to? to? To the forest? I think so. Let's see. Guess I'm missing you. Rainbow, and a masterpiece. Someone can hold a candle to the shining brilliance of my artistic talent. Tales of my genius will spread far and wide. No doubt countless fans from around the world will soon be beating a path to my door. But we'll have to prepare. But I wouldn't want all this attention to interfere with my art. What to do? I'll need assistance. A hundred should do to start. I wonder if any candidates would be kind enough to just stride through my door. Nice to meet you. Um... It's just something on my face. It's more that your face is actually very charming. Why don't you send a model for me? Model him to like to draw, I'm guessing. Like to draw, he says. Please, would you not liken me to a mere painter? I'm nothing of the sort. Painting is just the start of my repertoire. I sculpt, I carve, I embroider, and more. I, Daria, create all forms of art, thereby making the world a more colorful place. With the power of rainbows. Wow, oh, you must be a really well-rounded artist. That's impressive. Never mind modeling. Perhaps I'll promote you all the way up to my sidekick. Sidekick. By the way, what's your name? Micah. Nice to meet you, Micah. I'm Daria. My atelier is near the entrance to the forest. If you'd ever like to gaze upon my wondrous works, sidekick, feel free to come by any time. Sounds good. Yep. I guess so. Okay. Now that must be everybody, right? It's gotta be. Let me go try finding her now. Oh, thank God. It only took 25 minutes of this episode. If you're walking around saying your hellos, did you notice a skill level up? I bet you were like, huh? I knew it surprised you. Anyway, when improvements your walking skill, it's easy enough to raise, as all you have to do is stroll around and it'll happen automatically. 
You also have an eating skill that goes up as you chow down. You have an even a sleeping skill that improves as you sleep. I have more skill than I thought. You can check the details on these proficiencies and more in the camp menu. To get all sorts of bonuses on each skill levels. Sorry, as each skill levels up. So it's a good idea to learn exactly what each one does. I'll do that. Now, let's see. What do I have you do next? Oh, I know. How about you ship an item? Anything will do? Like, anything, anything? That's what I said, yes. It's crucial that you get used to shipping your excess items. I'm sure you'll find it easy enough, but there's nothing wrong with practicing anyway. Good point, I'm on it. So, is this still... Does this still count as the same... thing? Yes. Seems like it does. So, it wants me to ship... The game wants me to ship an item right now, so let's go... Go over here. Wait, why did I go this way? My bad. Okay, I can put this small now. So basically, what well, you just grab this. There you go. Alright, I made a shipment. I should have poured back to Shara. And I'll take this. Yeah, I'm not gonna do more than what the game wants me to do right now because a lot of these are part of the tutorial anyway. So I really feel that like these things will happen naturally, you know? Okay, hopefully she's in here. She is not in here. Okay. So we have to go ahead and try and find her. It's not exactly easy to find people when they're already in a building, because that means you have to go through each and every building individually until you find the person. Not in there either. Which building did you go into? Nope. Oh god, sorry. Oh jeez. Oh, here you are. I should have him. Excellent, good work. What did you end up going with? Um, this. Boy, my goose family are economical. Waste not want not is such a respectable motto to live by. You'll make an excellent farmer. And with that, my request for you are finished. After you complete requests, many people will offer you a reward and thanks. You can get your hands on some pretty impressive items this way, especially if the request was a difficult one, or if the request was in particular a good mood. Of course, rewards notwithstanding, your first priority should be helping for helping's sake. No worries there, I'm just glad to lend a hand, even if I don't get anything for it. That's the spirit. Alright, next let me teach you how to use the mailbox. I'll ask Grandpa to do me a favor and send you a request later. Or, letter. Afterwards, make sure you check the mailbox located next to your front door. Is any part of that unclear? I got it. The request letter is going to come to my mailbox, which is my front door. Precisely. Oh, and please do Grandpa's request for him. It'd be awfully nice of you. Absolutely. Request completed. Okay, well, I get to keep all these. So, I need to go to my... mailbox. So, it's saying... let's see here. Oh, I went too far. Well, it's a message for Marjorie. I'm sure by now you've heard from Shara about request by mail. Come see me. Okay. So I'm looking for Wells. Okay, where's Wells? I mean, he should be in there. Ah, oh, Micah, you're about to request, I assume. Yeah, what do you need help with? Have you met Marjorie at the apothecary yet? Uh, yes. Good. She ordered certain flowers for me, and they finally arrived. I already told her to come get them, but her memory isn't what it used to be. She's undoubtedly forgotten. I'd appreciate if you remind Marjorie her orders waiting and that she could sure come get them. You just want me to give her a reminder? I'd be happy to deliver the flowers while I'm at it. No, that's okay. She ordered them. It's only right she comes get them herself. I'll leave it to them. Okay. So we gotta find Marjorie. Marjorie, Marjorie. Um... The house with the well. Ah, oh, this will be the apothecary. Yes, I mean, I've been here already. And she is back here. Brings you here, dearie. Wells asked me to deliver a message for him. He says the flowers he requested have arrived and you can come get them. Oh, those flowers, that's right. It had completely slipped my mind. So, out with them then. Did you not bring them along? Wells said, and I quote, her order is waiting and she should come get it. That stubborn old goat. Oh, fine. You tell Wells I'll be over to get them before long. Sounds good. Thank you, dearie. Alright, let's go back.
I passed your message to Marjorie Wells. Good, good. Thanks for doing that for me. Here, let me give you this. Used to use the old thing myself. I stumbled across it while I was looking for something else the other day. And figured it'd be a proper farm warming gift for you. Thank you, this is very kind. You can use a sickle to cut grasses and harvest crops. Depending on how much your crop has grown, you might even get some seeds out of it. If you want to grow a quality produce, it is a tool you can't do without. You have a wealth of farmland to plant. It'd be a waste not to make use of it. I'll take that to heart, sir. Request complete. Alright, look at that. We get a cheap sickle. Can't have a farm without him. Yeah, okay. So I got a sickle. <clears throat> now I have to see if there's any additional requests. I mean, even if, even if there are, I can't do more than one per day. Exactly, so I would have to leave that be. Um, I mean, it's already nighttime anyway. Maybe I should spend some time planting some more crops then. I mean, I feel like it'd be a good idea to do so. I could've like, well, the thing is I don't have the axe, so I can't even like... Here, I'll eat. I ate it just so I can, you know, develop that skill also. That's, I, you do need to do a lot of that, a lot of developing, but a lot of that will come naturally too. Um, so I have, the, I'm not watering these because it was raining all day today, so like there was not even any point in doing most of that work, you know? Um, yeah, every day you do want to use your skills at least, so you can, you know, why is that one? Oh, I see, because it was something on top of it, I, I think. Okay. There we go, and that means I need to equip this thing. There we go. So yeah, but all these should be wet. Yeah. Um, as far as what else to use, well, I can just... Like, if you want to use your RP and not be wasteful, I recommend at least doing... Um, Wait, what? Like, just do this, honestly. You, if you want to use your RP, you totally can. See, and you'll get some skill ups, so that equals to additional stats. See, now I lost health right there. Which is fine, because I'm going to go to bed anyway, but... Yeah, always a good idea to, by the end of your, the day, just use up your RP. Um, and then just, you know... Whatever happens... Happens. He'll be getting skill ups eventually. All right, back in here. Oh, look at that. Actually, hold on. Before I harvest these, because I know I'm gonna feel real stupid if there's like some things that are like, oh yeah, harvest a crop or something like that. Um, let's do this one. All right, so we're gonna go to Sherman, who is probably gonna be in the manor over here. Uh, he is, yes, but is he still sleeping? Oh man, what time do these people wake up? They're here, um, I mean, I'm here pretty early, you know? Okay, well, you woke up. Are you still not waking up, man? Oh my god. Seems like he's not an early, uh, an early bird, you know? It's funny that they just like say like, good morning, like little stuff like that. Oh, I mean, I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna have to go back here anyway. You better wake up at eight o'clock, seriously. It's almost eight and you have to wake up at that time. Like there's no way you wouldn't, right? It'd be a little ridiculous. Thank you. Good morning. I saw your post on the message board. Hello, Mike, I'm glad you're here. You see, I found myself in the grip of a mild craving for seafood gratin. Should've known. But to cook seafood grind, I wouldn't need not only a pot, but also a fire source to heat it. They got me thinking, as long as we're at it, wouldn't an even smaller flame help me cook even more food in even less time? I don't think that's how it works. What's that? Well, yes, Micah, I am onto something. And that's why I would be fierce if you were to collect nine pieces of lumber for me. But you don't have any lumber, you say. Always fear, my boy. I hold right here in my hands an axe, and... It is no longer yours. 
Wow. Sure means to have the cheap axe into your hands. If you use this axe to chop branches, you'll get lumber. Makes sense. You should and should you happen to accidentally lose said axe, not to worry, there aren't for sale any there aren't for sale at the weapon shop. So they are for sale right now. Voila, you have everything you need to not chop every branch you see. Also, a rather boring note, it is impossible to throw items to another person. But please be careful, someone else could get in the way and accidentally catch it instead. If that happens, they won't mistake it as a present for them to keep it. There you have it. I blow hopes, Micah. Wow, this guy. This guy's gonna give me a freaking headache throughout this playthrough. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go back up there now. Why did I go that way? I don't know. Well, it's fine. Good morning. Alright, so we'll go like this. We need to equip this. He said he wants nine? I mean, I could just chop them all, honestly. Like, I gotta use my RP anyway. Oh, I see, yeah, so they eventually fade away if there's too many on screen. Root Factory games, their items are not in terms of how much, like, time they've been out there, but if you spawn too many, the old ones start, uh, despawning. You can also cut these. They generate a lot. Yeah, eventually you can get them. There we go. Uh, keep. Yeah. Okay. So it's raining again. Um, that's fine. Because I already used up all my RP anyway. I, I have to develop my RP a lot because as you can see, you are depleting it insanely fast early in the game. Okay. So, so yeah, she turns into a mermaid when it's like raining and stuff. Huh? I didn't notice that. Wondrous, that's not zero lumber. You don't have nine left. That's it? Wait, what? Huh? Did I do it? Wait, do I have to like take it out? Oh, there we go. Okay. You are just the worst. Now I have everything I need to not eat seafood, Grand. Right? Good for you. Here isn't much, but I hope you dislike it. Yes, it isn't. 3,000 money. I'll be sure not to ask for your help again. Request completed. Okay, well that's done. Um, let's see here. Yeah, see, she turns into a... Uh... Interesting. I'm a mermaid. Go for some squid right now. Okay. Are you trying to invite me in there with you? Oh my god. Jeez, because that was so freaking random. Okay. Um. What's up? Uh, nothing really. We need to shop. I don't need anything right now. Let me look at the bulletin board to see if there's anything. You can go mine some iron for me. That'll be for tomorrow, though. Um, is there anything in my mailbox? No, there's not. I mean, I guess I can try exploring out there if I wanted to, because it is still pretty early in the day. Oh, cutscene. I don't know why, but it's as if someone is calling out to me. Just where do you think you're going? Oh, it's you, Wells. That path leads to Bavera Forest. It's not a place you should wander into unprepared. Why is that? Because there are monsters lurking inside. Monsters are despicable, underhanded creatures. You never know when they'll strike. And you've heard the talk about the Tanuki, I assume? That creature has gotten bold enough to show its face in town of late, causing all sorts of problems. Its den is deep in a forest. If only there were someone who could teach it a lesson. Wells. Leave it to me. You truly mean it? You can count on me? 
Then so I shall. To tell you the truth, you seem capable enough to handle yourself in the forest, but make sure you, clear, you keep clear of the other areas. Other areas? Well, just to the west of the Sharn Street, you'll find a scorching desert and a freezing river, while to the east of the town lies Blustery Valley. Those regions are much more dangerous in this forest. Wander into them carelessly, and you might not wander out. Now listen carefully. You may, you may explore this forest, but promise me you'll steer clear of the other regions for now. Alright, I promise. If you're going to the forest, you should learn how to use the escape spell. Escape can be used whenever you find yourself in over your head, or if you simply wish to return home in a flash. If you use it in a dungeon, it will take you back to the entrance, and using it in town will bring you back in front of Sharn's tree. You can press L to open your pocket, then assign it to either X or Y. It doesn't even use RP, so use it as often as you like. Furthermore, escape is a special item that can't be removed from your bag, so you never have to worry about losing it. Sounds pretty handy. Okay. One more thing, Micah. Don't even think about bringing any monsters in the forest home with you. Hmm. Well, really has it out for monsters. Okay, so yes, yeah, so you may have seen this earlier, but um, it's right here. I have transformed out too. What the heck? Um, I'll equip it to, I guess, X. I don't know. Okay. Um, I should actually equip this. Yeah. So this is all the, the forest because if you, for the map. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. How did I do that? Wait a minute. Oh, it's because I pressed one button. I see. So this is Rainbow Way. Where do these areas lead to over here? I am curious. Vale River. So obviously we're a little too... Yeah, recommended level 40. This is not going to be until... Huh. What? A person with device blocking the path would... What? I don't want to interact with that yet. Okay, so that's Vale River. This is Sol Toronto Desert. We're not going to go to either of these because they are brutal, but I want to see the sign. 15, okay, that's much... Desperate or foolhardly. I don't want to trigger any of those right now. Okay, so now we know both of those lead to that, but obviously we're going to be going this way. There's also a section to the east, a valley something, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, let's make it small now. Is there anything I can do here? I mean, not really. Then what the heck? Some light streams in the tree and throw them all, okay. Oh, I see. So you just select that and it just tells you. Okay. Uh, yeah, those are save points. I don't think I ever mentioned that. Oh my god, I should have totally mentioned that. There we go. So you go this way. Because you're coming in from the top. So yeah, time to just okay, I'll make the map small. Whoa. You do have to watch your RP though, because when you attack, you are actually using up RP. Yeah, see? Damn. See, I think in future Rune Factory games though, that wasn't actually the case. Like, I think basic attacks don't consume RP, but combo attacks do or something like that. Combo finishers. Uh, no. I'm trying to, uh, let's go over here. Three hundred G. I'll do it this time, but I don't know if it's worth it. Cause in other Rune Factory games, I think in four, four and five, don't they give you like a number of free bats? Uh, bathing is also, a, I believe, a skill level though, right? Unless, well, maybe not in this game. But essentially, it just gives you a full heal. So you know that's pretty cool. But I really have to develop my stats like a lot, like very quickly, because yeah. Okay, these things are spawners. Destroy them so that, and they'll stop spawning. There we go. Okay, got that one. Here's some stuff. You'll obviously be finding a bunch of these things and you can just, you know, pick them up and keep them. Which is great. Okay. 
come in. I don't think I'm gonna get too many of these right now. That's okay. Um, there's a couple ways I can go here. I'm just gonna go this way first. Pretty much just gotta pick a pathway. Um, okay, you just have to be a little... Yeah, I didn't do too much damage. Something clicked for me just now. I learned a short sword uh, dash attack. If I attack while running, I'll be able to hit enemies at a greater distance. Just like that. You just saw it in action there. Yeah, so early on... Oh my god, I'm actually going to die already. I have to be very careful here. I mean, I'm trying to actually... Uh, Get rid of this spawner thing, but that's uh, clearly not working, so... You can also just eat a bunch of stuff if you want to. Yeah, see? They'll, they'll give you health. It is nice to do it because you will get skill ups too from doing that. Are they both there? I think they are. They're like, it looks like it's one enemy, but it's... Not, God damn, I did not remember these things having this much health, the, the spawners. I mean, I'm doing a lot more damage to the enemies, I feel. Shoot. Don't you dare do that. Oh god. No, no, no. This thing is really trying to get me. There we go. Got them all and I got this too. Yeah, it seems pretty damn hard. Okay, these things actually, you attack them, they give you RP. They're like little rune things. I don't know what you call them, but... They give you more RP, which is great, because you do need it, obviously. Oh my god. I don't think I should be over here yet. Okay, they respawned to some more things. We just have to get levels, you know, we have to get stronger. Only way to do that is to start by attacking really weak enemies early on and just, you know, get your levels from there. See, more skill ups. More skill ups means getting stronger. I don't know if this... Uh, yeah, so he does have an actual level up too, so there is a level up plus skill ups, okay. That's good to know because that's important to develop both. I'm gonna go up this way. It seems like every freaking... Oh man, this is actually a little tough. I'm a little weak right now. Uh, the Future Rune Factory games 4 and 5 were a lot easier in the beginning. You could easily go through an entire dungeon in those games. This one seems like it's harder because everything is just... I mean, there's a lot of things that consume RP. The spawners have a lot more health. So if you wanted to grind off the first, like, room, I mean, you can. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's not worth it. Oh, he hit me? Are you kidding me? No way, man. Yeah, so you do get charged money. Um, I did not think... Seriously? You're telling- that sheep hit me right there? No way. There's no way that thing hit me right there. Oh my god. That is crazy. It didn't even look like it was preparing an attack animation or anything like that. That is, wow, okay. Whatever, we're done with this day anyway. We have to get out of here. So that means I guess I should just harvest them because I was hoping, yeah, we'll just. Okay, so those things, just like in future Rune Factory games, I mean, this game influenced a lot of things. Uh, you'll get a random stat that gets a, or a random skill that gets a level up from that. 
which is pretty cool. Uh, it happens by chance when you, whenever you harvest crops or anything. But that is an efficient way of getting stronger. There we go, there's another one, see? So yeah, early on, I mean, you're very weak. You're extremely weak, extremely fragile to almost anything. Um, I have a lot of RP now because I picked up those things. So I should at least do this. Again, use it up. Don't ever waste any. You have to get skill ups. You have to get stronger early because you're extremely weak in the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just doing that. Let's, okay, let's use the axe a little bit too. Let's go ahead and... Just to get some lumber, you know? And then we can put these over there. Nice. Okay, let's go to bed now. I call it a day. I have a little bit of time left before I end this video. I'm at 51 minutes. Let's tidy up. All right. It's raining again. Wow. I mean, it saves me time from watering. That's good. But all right. Let's go to um, accept this thing. Okay. He might still be asleep though. Oh no, he's here. Hey guys, I'm about the request you put up. Oh, you saw it, good. I'm about to run out of materials, but I don't have time to go get any myself. Sorry to impose, but would you be a pal and get me some iron? You bet. If you're going to mine ore, you'll need a hammer. Here, use this one. Really? I can take this? Yeah, go find some of those roundish rocks that really look the part and give them a whack with that. Or a thwack. We'll drop ore and gemstones and stuff. Rocks that look the part, you say. Okay. Don't worry about it too much. Any hammer will get you stuff from them. It doesn't have to be a mining hammer in particular. Okay. Oh, and if you somehow lose the one you've got, you've got a full stock of new ones at the shop. Good to know. You have to pay standard retail price though. Sorry. I have to buy it. Gotcha. Leave the two of them. Okay. So let's go and get him some 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 ore or some iron. Yeah. We do have to make our way over there then. So we'll go like this. Let's go ahead and equip our short sword. Hopefully I'm a little stronger now. Got a level up. Ooh, an apple. We'll take the apple. Looks like I am getting, yeah, I am doing more damage. Which is great, of course. Oh, what in the world? Okay. Let's go. Where did I see these things? Was it up here? I think it was up here. Oh yeah, it was. Okay. So I'm gonna have to clear- oh jeez. Okay, and then just go here fast. There we go, an earth crystal, okay. Can I get these? <clears throat> I can actually, okay. We'll take those two that okay and then here we're gonna switch to this no oh, only one okay we'll keep it only one in future uh, oh yeah see i was gonna say in future rune factory games it's pretty common you can hit a bunch like a bunch of them okay Here's some rune flowers, that is good to know. But, I mean, I should probably go back. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy too. Just for the experience. And these things might come in handy. Okay, let's go up here now and go ahead and turn in this thing, which I believe is right here. Can we some iron? Yes, yes, okay. 
get us right here. We got a hole. We just want one. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mega. I can keep on forging now that I've got this. Wait, what? Well, I mean, you've been working this whole time? Pretty much. If I put my hammer down, I'll probably kill right over and fall asleep. Come on, I know you're tired, but don't exaggerate. Anyway, now that you were kind enough to bring this, I can keep on going for a good while. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Now, let me think of something to give you in return. You deserve a reward. How about that hammer? What, this? His is old, and your own would be easier to use. Huh? Give him that. Huh. No, that's way too much. I couldn't... Good idea. Here, take this. Why does it me feel woozy? Oh my god. Gaius? That's okay, he's just asleep. But he killed right over. Don't tell me it really was because he let go of his hammer. He gets like that when he focuses too hard on work. I always make sure to give him just enough material so that they run out around the time he needs to rest. Shoot. Then when I went to got more for him... Sorry. Sorry. It's not your fault. I appreciate you saying that. Oh, here, I'll give this. Are you sure? Yeah, I already got my reward earlier. I see. Dang it! We could have gotten another reward. Okay, we'll just let that guy fall asleep there. Whatever. What's next? Fishing lessons from the master. That'll be for tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're pretty much out of time here for today. For today, we just have to pretty much use up the rest of our RP. Um, as much as we can, of course. I think these things are not going to be giving us as much experience anymore. We're level 5. We should probably hit some, uh, some, fight some stronger enemies like these over here. If you remember all of these. God damn, dude. Stupid ants, get away from me. Damn, we're still alive? Let's see, I, th I think they do give a lot- oh, That's not even giving a lot of experience though, to be honest. We'll figure all this out later. That's fine. A oh, piece of lumber? Okay, sure. There's some more apples, we can take those. I can't grab that one. What the heck? Yeah, well, let me grab it. Okay, that's weird. Okay, what's over here? Damn it, he got me. I didn't think he was gonna get me there. Did it. What do we got? Some water crystals? Yeah, there's a lot of items here. They're gonna be very good. Got him, okay. That's a pretty straightforward room right here. Oh, these you can actually mine, but the problem is that... <clears throat> oh man, I think these enemies are going to be much tougher. What oh, were your statues? Freaking cutscene in the middle of all this. God damn it. Yeah, should I be here? Probably not. Yeah, I should probably get the heck out of here. So the way poison works... Is that I don't think it kills you. Well, at least in other ones. Okay, no, it doesn't seem like it does here either. That's good to know. I'm gonna save right here. I know I'm pretty messed up. Alright, so before in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I will see you all later. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great day.